So in this video, I'm going to showcase Ichigo and see if he's uh, worth the 2000 Robux to buy or not. Also, I'm actually making an Ichigo giveaway because I hit 16,000 subscribers. Well, I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to do that in a couple of hours. So I'm thinking of just making it now. So before you watch, um, join my Discord server, the giveaway is there, and subscribe for more giveaways. And also, I'm using my old PC for this video, so I'm going to be lagging quite a lot. The first move is a really good dash that's instant and has pretty good AoE. The damage is also fine, but the thing is that you can actually have a 25% chance of it resetting and you can use it twice. The second ability is also really good. It's like Shadow Moon or 2. Um, it's instant, good AoE with pretty good damage. It's just nothing special about it. It's just really good. The third ability has a special ability where it resets the first and second ability. So it's like Shanks and Accelerator, and it also gives you speed. The thing is, um, this is going to be very good for spamming, and it's also going to be very good since the third ability itself is actually pretty powerful. The fourth ability does have a lot of damage actually, but the thing is, it's taking too long to actually finish it, unlike Shadow Monarch, which is kind of fast, and like Godra Milim, they are also really fast. Ichigo's ultimate is just really slow. And for those who are wondering, Ichigo's assist is actually pretty good. It deals the same amount of damage as Gilgamesh, it's just that the AoE is slightly worse. So I would consider Ichigo a slightly worse assist. Ichigo is really good because he packs a lot of damage and he can spam so much. He's like Shadow Monarch and Eren combined with good good damage and good spam. The one thing that's dragging him down is that he doesn't have that good energy gain, so he can't like get Kurumi and everything uh, up really fast, but he's still really good, one of the best characters in the game for raids. He's up, uh, like, he's basically on par with Accelerator and Shanks and Raid, and those have been like very good characters um, for a long time. So in raids, I compared Ichigo to Milim because Milim is the best character in uh, the game for raids. And I'm gonna do that with Shadow Monarch later, with Dimensions, because Sh uh, Shadow Monarch is the best in Dimensions. But anyway, um, my point is that he performed kinda well against Milim, the best character. And I'm pretty sure he can beat Accelerator and Shanks slightly. And he's on the level where Naruto Beast Mode Awakened is. So that's really good, he's like very good in raids. Um, but he is beaten by Milim and Shadow Monarch and maybe even Naruto slightly, but he still is really good in raids. I wouldn't count him out. Ichigo in Dimensions is actually really good. Even though I was lagging a lot in these runs when I did on my old PC, it still got consistently good times. Good times meaning like the same times as Accelerator and Shanks, which were considered the second best Dimensions players previously. And that just means that he's insanely good. And when I was not lagging, I actually got a 126 on stream. So I can probably get better than that, slightly, if I try hard, off camera, just do like uh, an hour of runs, I can probably get better than 126. But 126 is insanely good either way. And that's only ever comparable to Shadow Monarch because Shadow Monarch is also like 120 times. While Shanks and Accelerator, they're 130 cap. Uh, and so he's only, if he's worse than Shadow Monarch, then sure, he's still the second best character in the game for Dimension. So if you don't have Shadow Monarch, Ichigo is the way to go. But I would say that they're basically equal. Ichigo is easier to play, and cheaper for that matter. And he actually doesn't even get that worse times. Like, with Shadow Monarch, it took me like an hour to get the same time I got with Ichigo. Though I'm pretty sure I could get a better time with Shadow Monarch pretty easy. But um, with Ichigo, it would be pretty hard to get a better time than 126. If I would pick one of the two though, I would say that Shadow Monarch is better because Ichigo's fourth ability just doesn't do anything for him. Just like with Ichigo, I was lagging so much with Shadow Monarch and I can get definitely better times. Uh, I did get a 126 exactly like Ichigo after like an hour, which was longer than it took me to get 126 with Ichigo. But I'm pretty sure the skill cap is higher for Shadow Monarch, so you could actually get better times with Shadow Monarch, like 120. But um, 
Ichigo is much easier to use and it's just straightforward. Uh, Shadow Monarch is obviously just amazing. He has good, every every move he has are good. Uh, even the fourth ability that it's his slowest move, he gets 100% critical chance, good damage, good AoE. He's really good for dimensions. He's meant for dimensions. He's literally, he is made of dimensions. Um, he's so good. But honestly, Ichigo is not even that much worse. Um, like, in the same amount of time, I would probably get the same amount of, uh, or the same, uh, like, at times. So if I spent one hour on both characters, I would probably get the same time on both of them. But um, I think even after 10 hours, I, th I don't think I would have increased or improved my time with Ichigo, but I would have improved my time with uh, Shadow Monarch. So it's a bit of a like difference because Shadow Monarch has a higher skill cap, but Ichigo is just, he's straightforward, um, he is what he is, uh, but he's still really good. He's really good for dimensions, and he definitely is um, the second best dimension player in the game, if not tied with first. But yeah, that's basically everything about Ichigo. Um, he is definitely a really good character. So is he worth it? I would say yes. I would say he's worth it if you were to buy something in the game. Ichigo is not a bad decision. Why? Well, he's only 2,000 Robux, while Shadow Monarch is slightly better at 4,000 Robux. And Ryuko is slightly cheaper, but much worse. So if you were to buy a character, then yes, Ichigo would be it. Definitely. And he actually is better than the raid character that you can buy as well. For example, Naruto Beast Mode Awakening is the uh, considered second best character in the game prior to this. And he is better than Naruto Beast Awaken, uh, basically as good in as good in uh, rates, uh, maybe slightly worse, but that doesn't really matter, and better in dimensions. And he's actually kind of cheaper than uh, Naruto to buy with Robux because 3,600 3, rate tokens to buy Naruto Beast Mode, and then to awaken him, 2,000 more rate tokens for that, and 500 awakening tokens. So Ichigo is actually cheaper than. Um, uh, to buy Naruto straight off as well. So, I would say that Ichigo is better and uh, just better to buy and he's the second best character in the game and he's actually worth the 2000 Robux. Now, that's what I say and honestly, you can do whatever you want to. You can, you can live with not buying him as well. Uh, he's not meta in anything. He's not the best character in anything. Shadow Monarch is the best for dimensions. Uh, Milim is the best for raids and he's not a meta assist. So you could live without him, but he's actually a really good character. So I would recommend you buying him if you have 2000 Robux. But honestly, that's about it for this video. Um, don't forget that I'm making an Ichigo giveaway at 16,000 subscribers, so basically now. So join my Discord and I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.